Okay, so we're now working along the other side of the blanket away from the squares that we've created. So we're taking the nice dark green, which is the yarn colour J, and we're going to join it into the corner space of the mushroom, the first mushroom square, and do a one chain, um, and that doesn't count as a stitch, and um, that's just to anchor it, and I've done it with the tail as I normally do. Then we are doing a one double crochet in the corner space. That's a UK double crochet, remember. They're always a bit tricky. I'm just a little bit tight somehow on that first one. Um, then we are going to be working a double crochet across all 27 of the stitches in the square, just like we did um, a stitch in every one of the um, stitches for the other side of the square down down this end. So we did stitch for stitch. So we're doing the same along here and we're going to do double crochets into all 27 of the stitches. And then as we did last time, you do a double crochet in that corner and then a double crochet in this corner and then continue with your 27. So obviously I'm not going to make you watch me do all those. Um, so we'll join you again in a moment with the next bit. Okay, so just to show you how this works, we're doing the double crochet there, we're ignoring that and doing a double crochet there and then we're straight back in to doing 27 double crochets this time into the flower square. So you're getting a nice, neat, even pick up along the side to enable us to work the rest of the rows. Okay, I'll see you again at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. We've done a double crochet into the final corner and we're just going to pause there. We're not changing yarns or anything. We're going to use the same thread for the next row. Okay, see you in a moment with row 76. Okay, so we have turned the work around and working across the wrong side of the work now. And we're going to do a chain of three. That counts as the first stitch. So then we are working trebles, UK trebles, all the way across. So every double crochet is having a treble worked into it. And there we go. Just dozen just to give you a quick demo and show you how we're going to get along with that. So that's all you're doing. You will have 145 stitches at the end, including those three. So a nice easy row for that one. Okay, see you in a moment. So here we are at the end of the row. Do double check that you have the right number of stitches and that you have worked into that final stitch because it's very easy to miss the final stitch and then lose a stitch and if you keep doing that you're going to end up with a not enough stitches to work parts of the pattern but also you're going to end up with a slightly wonky blanket so um, always make sure you've got your 145 stitches okay we're, uh, we'll be turning around in a moment and getting ready to do the next row Okay, still with the same colour and another super easy row. So one chain that doesn't count as a stitch and then we're doing another row of double crochet all the way along. So the UK double crochet um, which is the American single crochet. Um, and there you go, that's all you're doing nice and easy. We'll see you at the other end of the row uh, and get ready to change colour. Okay. So, here we are at the end of the row. 
and we're changing to our lovely lime green yarn at this point. Um, so don't cut off the green yarn, we, the dark green yarn, we're going to come back to that in a little while. Um, so just leave that on the end and we'll get ready for the next row. Okay, so we've got the wrong side facing us and we're not working a turning chain this time. What we are going to do is work a slip stitch, so you just pull that through there and through the stitch you've just worked in that first one. And then we're working one treble into the next stitch and then one slip stitch into the next stitch and then another treble and a slip stitch and another treble and a slip stitch and all the way across to make another um, lovely lime green row with texture that we've similar to what we've made before in fact identical to what we've made before so we'll see you at the end of the row with the final instructions okay so here we are at the end we've finished with a slip stitch and with this one we now don't need this color of yarn so i'm just snipping off the pulling that through so we've got a join there and I will sew those ends in in a little while. Don't turn your work, we're going to go back to the beginning of the row again for the next row. Okay, Okay. so we are right back at the beginning, we are still on the wrong side so it's where we left this green, dark green yarn um, and that we're just going to pull through on that first slipped stitch at the beginning of the previous row and then chain three and then we're going to be working across these stitches here not the fronts that's the front but working across the what would be the top of the stitches but because of how the row pulls they're slightly more leaning towards me um, so then we work a treble into that one, a treble into the next slip stitch and a treble into the next, what was the treble of the row below. So we're going to keep going all the way along working a standard UK treble in the dark green into every single stitch to the other end and again including the chain three at the beginning you'll have 145 stitches. So that's how it looks on the front, which is rather pretty, and the back. Okay, we'll see you again shortly. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. Um, you can see there how nice the front looks, and that's the back. And then we are changing to yarn colour I, which for me is the chocolate. And we're then ready to work the next row. Okay, I'll see you in a minute with the next set of instructions. Okay, okay so row 80. We're with the lovely chocolate brown yarn and we are starting with a chain of three. And then we're going to be working sets of two trebles. So we're going to miss that stitch and work into the next one. And we're doing two trebles. So we're back to working the, the sort of V stitch idea. So we miss a stitch, work into the next one with two trebles. And again, miss and two trebles. And we're just going all the way to the end of the row. So we'll see you at the other end of the row in just a minute. Um, and we're also going to do a quick um, count because we need to make sure we've still got the 145 stitches. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so here we are at the end of the row and just to show you I've worked two stitches into the final stitch which was the chain of three of the row below. Um, so you do need to make sure you do that or you will end up starting to lose um, stitches and things. Okay, we'll see you shortly in the next, with the next row. Okay, um, I forgot to mention we needed to change yarns at the end of the last row so we're now on this lovely lime green again and we're now starting to work into the V stitches so it's where you've got the pair you're working in the middle you're not working into the gap between so we're going to start with our chain of three and then we're actually missing three stitches so that's one two which is the first pair then the third one and then we're going in between there and we're again just working two trebles so you've got that set of three chain of three and then three stitches missed and you can see how that pushes it apart and causes a lovely V shape so we work along as we've done previously and I'll just work another pair and then I will show you hopefully nice and clearly what it is you're trying to achieve so hopefully you can see really nice and clearly there that you've got the V shape so you've got the two stitches worked into one stitch there there and there and then you work in the V into the middle of that V and we're going to do that all the way along again to the end of the row, not forgetting to change this time at the end of the row. Okay, we'll see you shortly. Okay, row 82, really simple because it's just the change of colour and then we are repeating row 81. So a chain of three, miss your first three stitches, so you're working into the V stitch again and again two trebles into the centre of the two stitches of the row below. So a really nice easy one for you to do. There we go, that's what you're looking to achieve and we'll see you at the end of the row. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. Um, I've worked two trebles into that final chain of three there. So you're not changing yarn this time, so we need to keep the same yarn going. I'm just going to spend a moment now sewing in the ends so that that's all nice and neat, and then we'll be back with the next row. Okay, so row 83, again, nice simple one. Chain of three. And then that does count as your first stitch, by the way. And then we're doing a UK treble into every stitch of the row. So let's do a couple more. Do make sure that you go in under both of those loops there. Um, so that's what you're trying to achieve. And we'll see you at the end of the row. Um, so again, you're not changing yarns, but we will need to do some prep. Okay, see you shortly. Okay, so there we are at the end. Just a nice, simple row of trebles. Do make sure you work into that final stitch there. Um, otherwise, you won't have enough for the next row. Uh, so now we're going to turn the work and then I'm going to show you some prep for the next row. Row. Okay, so row 84, there's some prep to do for row 84 because we are starting another set of leaves. So you need to find the five colours that you are going to be using and cut the right number of threads for each colour. So three of them have five uh, threads and two of the colours only have four. Um, and then just keep them to one side, just just for now. I think you can see all those 
those colours. Um, also for this I have gone along and put some stitch markers in. Um, I think that's the easiest way of knowing where you're going to be bringing in your next colour. So we start off with a chain of two which counts as the half treble and then we're doing a back post treble so that's where you come into it from behind and go across from behind bring that back through round and through two round and through two so we're doing five of those where we're working into this back section Five. And as we get to the final pull through on this, we need to change colour. Um, so to start with, we're bringing in yarn B, which is a lovely Clementine colour. So bring that one through. Okay, leave a little tail at the back for securing in later. And because we're at the front of the work, you need to make sure that all your threads that are carried along are carried at the back. Um, we're then going to do three front post trebles all around the next stitch. So that's the marked stitch. And bringing it to the front and underneath at the front. Oops. I'm just going to take that out now because that's just getting a little bit in my way. So we've done to there, and then pushing that yarn through to the back, we now need to find the green working thread. I do find this gets easier as you've done a little bit. The first one or two are always a bit faffy. Pull that through, and then we're back to working five back post trebles. Again, oops, didn't get through both, so there we go, one, two, so cross like so, and we're going to work that all the way across the row, so we're doing sets of five back post trebles to each of the markers and then you change to the next colour. So basically every sixth stitch. So you've got one stitch at the end and then five, count five along, put your first marker and then count five clear ones, place a marker all the way across um, and that will help you work across the line. We have done these before so I'm fairly sure that you'll be comfortable with it very quickly. Okay, so here we are at the end and working into the very final stitch with a half, oops, a half treble. So you go in, bring your yarn back through and go through all through stitches, three stitches at once. So you can see now we've got the beginnings of the leaves all set out and lots of strings down the back that we're going to use as we go along. Okay, we'll see you shortly with the next row. Okay, so here we are with row 85. Um, you have worked a similar row to this before, so um, you know you may not need to watch this. However, we're going to start with a chain of two, and then we're going to work a front post treble around each of the next five stitches. And that may seem a little bit odd, but trust me, it will then... Um, push forward a little row just as we want it to for the front because you are now working across the back. So just across underneath, pull it back through. You'll have done quite a few of these now so um, I feel you'll, uh, you'll be quite confident in working them. And then as we get to the final pull through of the final stitch, we change colour. And then we're going to work a back 
post treble. So basically bringing that to the front. This one's always a little bit tricky. There we go. So wrap across with the front there, pulling through, round and through two, round and through two, and then again. And I did find, actually, if you go under that little loop there, it really just pull it in and neaten it. As you get to the final one, remember this is the back of the work. So any threads that are hanging around, you want them to be at this side. Um, so there, we've started the thread and we're going to work another five um, front post trebles. So very similar vein to what we were doing before. And the nice thing with this is we don't have to worry about what colour, whatever colours we've picked. Um, we're just, oh, getting carried away there. Need to change my yarn colour. So let's find the lovely mustardy yellow. Bring that through there. So again, we're wrapping, going through to the front, doing the fiddly bit of trying to get that back through. That one was so much easier through two twice under there oops Stop. and again it's because I've got enough tension on bring that under through and then the final one so I've gone through and I'm making sure that I catch any little spare threads that might be there because they do sometimes seem to appear from nowhere keep this yarn to the back and then pick up your green yarn again. So we're going to keep working across as before, picking up the new colours as you go along and we'll see you at the other end. Okay. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row and the final stitch is um, a half treble and it's done into the chain of um, two at the, at the beginning. Um, so you've got five individual stitches and then the half treble at the end. This is how you're going to look the back of the work. So looking a little bit messy at the moment, but only because of all these ends and pieces still to be used. And then the front of the work is looking great. So really pleased with that. And um, if you notice, there's one or two what look like slightly pulled threads there. However, they're really easy to tighten up and neaten up. Um, as you sew the ends in at the back. So we'll pause there and we'll be back in a moment with the next row. Okay. Okay, row 86. Um, we start with a chain of two. That counts as your half treble. Then we do back post trebles around these five stitches. So it's a wrap through across the back, bring that back through, round and through two, round and through two. You should be doing these nice and easily now because we've done quite a lot. Um, so we have our five post trebles and then we change to our new coloured yarn and bring that through the final one. Okay, then it's three front post trebles, but we're doing treble three together. So we've created it to the point where we've got three loops on the hook, round and through two, we pause, we wrap again, and go under the second one, and round and through two, and then we pause and we do it again around and through all three. Bring that through, round and through two, so each one is at the same level, and then round, oh, bear with me one second, we are going to do round and through all four, but of course we'll have a fairly short tail by this point. We then need to find 
um, the green yarn, bring it through all four loops and that brings everything together. And then we go back to doing five back post trebles, making sure we get through the right row. Pause when we get to that point. Find the next yarn. Bring that through there. Then our front post triple three together. So that's one. And again under the next one. Two. And again under the next one. My three, and then find the green yarn, and again pull it through all four. Okay, we're going to continue doing that all the way along, just like we've done before, and so we'll end up back with the smaller number of stitches, um, the 145, because of course the last few rows we've had extra because of these um, leaves that we've been creating. So we'll see you at the end of the row and we should be back down to 145 stitches. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. Um, we've got all the leaves now back into one stitch. So you're going to look like this with the back and that at the front. And we do a final um, half treble. So we'll finish at that point, we're not changing colours and we've got a nice simple row coming up. Okay, so we've sewn the ends in, made it all nice and neat and secure and we're now on to row 87. This is um, a lovely simple row, so we've got chain of three and then we are working a treble into the top of every stitch, so that's this little set of, of I like to call them love hearts, but loops or chains as you see them. So a very simple UK treble all the way along. I'm just going to show you which stitch I think you best to work into. So for, for when we reach the coloured ones. So on this one, the red one, we're going under there. Make sure that you get it nice and secure and just work that all the way along the row. Um, that shouldn't take you very long compared to some of the other rows. So that's a nice easy one. Um, we'll see you at the other end shortly. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. Do make sure that you do that final stitch. It's very, very easy to miss. So you've got five um, individual trebles to cover those five stitches and then another one at the end. Um, to have the, the chain, to catch up with the chain that was at the beginning of the other row. So that's how you can look from the back. And this is where we are from the front. Okay, we'll see you again in a moment with the next row. Okay, I forgot to mention at the end of the last one that we needed to change colour. So I'm now back on with this lovely bright orange. And we are going to be changing colour, I think, nearly every row for the next few rows. So that's just something to bear in mind. So, row 88, we've got one chain, which doesn't count as a stitch, and then we've got one UK double crochet into that first stitch. Don't worry if that looks slightly messy, we can pull this in and sew it in and it will look fine. Um, and then a nice easy row of two chains, miss a stitch, and a double crochet. Another two chains, miss a stitch, and a double crochet. And you're going to do that all the way to the end of the row. Um, we will be changing colour 
at the end. So I'll just warn you that in advance. It's sometimes nice to have the next colour lined up next to you. Um, so we'll see you in a moment at the other end of the row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. I've just paused here because we now need to change colour. Um, I've got yarn C, which for me is antique gold. And as before, we just pull it through the last two loops of the final double crochet. On a slightly longer tail than that. Okay, we'll be back in a moment to start with the next row. Okay, so row 89, um, we've done a row very similar to this before, so you should have no trouble with it. Um, we need to do a one chain to start with, which as you know I like to do with the tail, and then get into my working yarn. So we are working a double crochet into the first or the last double crochet of the row below a bit tighter and then we work a double crochet into the first two chain space then we do a, a um, two chain we miss that double crochet and we work into the next chain space with the double and we keep doing again the two chain and this time working into the chain space of the row below all the way along so really super easy to do, really pleasant row to work on. Um, and we'll see you at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. I've done my final two chain, a double crochet into the two chain space, and then a double crochet. In fact, I want that to go through a bit more. I want that to go under both. There we go. And, as I've mentioned, we're going to be changing colour every row for a while. So I'm now going on to this really lovely cherry colour. So I'm going to cut off the, the yellow thread, start with the red, but I am going to just spend a moment sewing some ends in because it does make life a lot easier. So we'll see you again in a moment for the next row. Okay, so row 90 the lovely red yarn and it's very similar to what we've been doing before so one chain and then um, a one double crochet into the first stitch and of course the one chain doesn't count um, as a stitch so then we have two chains one double crochet into the two chain space, two chains, one double crochet and again all the way along so very repetitive just what we've been doing before um, just make sure you get the start and the end of the row right so we don't lose any of the two chain spaces. Okay see you soon. Okay so here we are at the end we've finished with a two chain and a one double crochet into the very last stitch so you miss this stitch and work into the last one and for the very final pull through we're changing colours again so this time we're on with a lovely dusky pink so that is the end of that row and we will see you again shortly with the next colour okay so Turn the work and row 91 is the same as row 89 so we've got one chain which doesn't count as a stitch and then one double crochet just pull that a bit tighter <laughs> everything's stretching on me um, one double crochet into that first stitch don't worry that this is all looking a little bit loose and messy we're going to pull everything in and as we sew it in, we're going to tighten it all up. Um, so one double crochet into that first stitch and one double crochet into the first of the two chain spaces and then back to, to 
two chain and one double crochet. So the main thing obviously is getting your first little bit right. So it's making sure you get that first double crochet in the first stitch and then a double crochet into the first chain space just so you've got a, a nice edging to work with. Um, so we'll carry on and we will see you at the other end of the row with another colour change. Okay, here we are at the end of the row and it's really just a reminder that you will have worked a double crochet into the final two chain space and then into the final stitch you're working another double crochet and oops getting ahead of myself um you once you've got to your final two um loops pull through with the next color which for me is the lavender okay nice easy rows these so we'll carry on with the next one in just a moment okay Row 92 is just the same as row 90, so I'll just do a really um, brief demo for you. We've got one chain, which doesn't count as a stitch, and as you know I like to do that with the tail. Then we've got one double crochet into that first stitch from the row below, again as before. Just keep pulling them tightly. Two chain and a double crochet into the next two chain space. Two chain and another double crochet. And we're just going to carry on like that across the row. So we will see you at the other end with a change of colour. See you soon. Okay, here we are at the end of the row and we're going to change to yarn G, which is the lovely ecru. So you've finished the end of this row with two chains and double crochet into the final stitch. Okay, we'll join you again in a moment with the next row. Okay, row 93. Um, it's very much the same as, in fact it's identical to row 89, so we've got a one chain which doesn't count as a stitch, then we're working a double crochet into that first stitch and a double crochet into the two chain space and then onto that lovely rhythm again of two chains and a double crochet into the next two chain space on the row below. So by now you should almost be able to do this with your eyes closed. <laughs> Not quite but nearly. Um, lovely and repetitive so we will see you at the end of the row to change yarns and then things will start to change quite shortly. Okay. Okay we're at the end of the row. We've now finished with the lovely cream colour and we're joining in this wonderful um, lime green and this lime green we're going to be using now for quite a few rows to do different things with. So you can cut off all the other colours if you haven't done so already and sew the ends in and then we'll be back shortly to start work with the lime green. Okay, okay so row 94 um, is the last of the very repetitive rows, although I have to say it's been rather nice just to do a few simple rows that didn't take any real thinking about once you got into the swing. So um, row 94 is the same as row 90, which is a one chain and then a double crochet into that first stitch. Um, then we're straight into the two chain, miss a stitch and work a double crochet into the next stitch, uh, the two chain space, sorry. So this is our final row of the two chains and the one double crochet into 
the relevant chain space. So you can see now what we're aiming for. Um, we'll see you at the end of the row just to do the final couple of stitches and then we're on to something different. Okay. Okay, so we're at the end of that row and this time we're just going to finish off the final stitch in the same colour. Don't cut your thread or anything. We will be turning to do the next row, but that's where you are at the moment. Um, and we'll continue in a moment with row 95. <laughs> okay, so here we are with row 95. Very simple. We've got a chain of three. <clears throat> and that counts as your first stitch. Um, and then we're doing a treble into the chain space and a treble into each stitch. So we're doing very, very easy. So you've got your chain of three to start with, that counts with your first stitch, and then one treble into every one of the chain spaces and into every one of the stitches to the end and you'll have 145 at the end, which is just what you need for when you work in the next row. Okay, see you again shortly. So, here we are at the end. Um, I've done a quick check, we've got 145 stitches, so um, just to make sure that you do work your final treble into that final stitch and you don't get caught out by stopping at the last two chain space. So, we're not changing colour, so we're just going to turn the work and start with the next row. Okay, so row 96 is equally simple. One chain doesn't count as your first stitch, so we're working a double crochet into that very first stitch. And then one UK double crochet all the way to the other end to create a nice solid row to start working the next section on to. So super simple, nice to do um, and we'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, so here we are with row 97. We've got a chain of three and then we're simply working a treble into every stitch across the row and this is to build up a little bit more because the next row um, starts to get more, more interesting. <clears throat> Although it is lovely to do these simple rows sometimes. It's nice to have that break in between. So there you go. We'll see you again at the end of the row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. I'm just going to take a moment to sew all the ends in and then we will get cracking with um, row 98. Okay, row 57. It's quite a complicated row, this one. Um, once you get going, it's repetitive, but the initial bit is... Um, you have to think about it. So we are going to be working some front post quadruple treble two together. So I have put some stitch markers in here just to help me when I get to that point but we'll discuss that in detail when we get there. Um, also another point is that we will be joining in the brown yarn and between where we need to work it that will be crocheted in to the the, uh, the green stitches that are going across. So we're going to start off with a one chain, that doesn't count as a stitch and then we're going to do a double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So one right at the beginning, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And as I get to the seventh stitch, <clears throat> I need to bring the brown yarn in. Um, I'm going to leave my 
myself a reasonable length of tail there. We're now going to work the front post quadruple treble two together. And they're going to be around the eighth and the ninth stitches, um, three rows down. So I've got a row there, a row of doubles, another row of trebles. So that's why I've marked those. So that's um, row 54. So a quadruple treble is a four wrap. <clears throat> so we've got the original stitch plus four wraps there. And then we go in from right to left around the back of that stitch and then bring your yarn back through. Then it's round and through two, round and through two, round and through two, round and through two and then pause because we need to start working the next stitch. One, two, three, four. We're going in from right to left again and through and then round and through two, round and through two, round and through two, round and through two. And when we get back to just having three stitches, so this is where we're working them together. So this is why there are a front post quadruple quad. I can't say it now. Front post. Quadruple front post quadruple two together. Can't say that this morning. <laughs> we pulled through all three stitches. <clears throat> okay, so this is where we're starting the, the tree trunk side. Then find the working brown yarn because that one is going to need to be crocheted into the next few stitches. So we miss the immediate stitch behind and go into the next one. Okay, so we've missed one there we're going into the next one and then we're doing double crochets into each of the next nine stitches so that's one two three four oops, five six Seven, eight, nine. So we're on the ninth stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the ninth stitch. So we now need to change back to the brown yarn. <clears throat> and we're going to work another pair of front post quadruple trebles. So one, two, three, four and this time we are working around the ninth and tenth stitches on. So I've got eight clear stitches, two, four, six, eight. So that's nine and ten and we're going in again from right to left around the back. Wrap and through two, wrap through two, wrap through two, wrap and through two, one, two, three, four. And wrap and through two, wrap and through two, wrap through two, wrap and through two. We're now back to um, the end of this, so we pull the green yarn all the way through. Okay, make sure the brown yarn's available to wrap in. We're missing a stitch, so we're working into that one. Okay, so we've missed this stitch, working into that one. And we're going to continue crocheting, double crochets, wrapping in the brown yarn. So that sits in the middle of that stitch. And so what we're basically doing now is repeating the nine double crochets, swapping to the other colour yarn as you get through, and then working your front post quadruple two, two trebles, two together. Still can't say it, never mind. <laughs> 
good job we can demonstrate it. Um, so we're going to work that all the way along the line. So I recommend popping some stitch markers in just to make it easier for yourself. And we'll see you at the other end of the row. I hope that's, that's useful for you. Okay, see you again soon. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row and we've finished off with seven um, double crochets at the end. So not an awful lot to show on the back there, but a whole series of nice big tree trunks um, on the front. Okay, we'll join you again in a moment with the next row. Row 58, there's quite a lot going on again in this row. Um, and you'll be introducing another colour, so the dark green for me for the tops of the trees. Um, and we recommend crocheting in the colour that's being carried across um, at the back of the work. Because we're going to do some wrong side popcorns and I'll show you those in just a moment. So let's start with a chain of three. And then we're going to do a treble into each of the next four stitches. So that's missing that first stitch because your chain of three does count as a stitch. But we need another four trebles. Two, three, four, and as we get to the end of the fourth um, treble, then we need to change yarns. So we're bringing the dark green yarn in, and then we're going to start working these wrong side popcorns. So the initial popcorn starts with four trebles worked. Best have all the tails at this side because this is the back. So I need four trebles and I'm going to work over my pale green, pale green yarn because <clears throat> I think that'll carry it across quite nice and neatly. So four trebles all worked into the same stitch. Okay, and this is the key now for it being a wrong side treble, uh, popcorn rather. So you take your hook out of that yarn and you go in from the back to the front of that first dark green stitch. Then you grab your loop again, pull it tight, pull that through. And that pushes your popcorn forward onto what will be the right side. Okay, so it's crucial that you go in from the correct angle. Then a one chain and we'll do another one. So again I'd like to keep carrying this across wrapped inside. So that's one, two, three, four and I'm stretching my loop a little bit just so you don't risk losing it. One, two, three, four. It must be from the back of the work to the front towards you. Grab that, pull it through and you can see how the popcorns are pushing forwards. And then a one chain and then one uh, miss a stitch working into the next stitch. One, two, three, and as we work the fourth one, we need to change back to the nice bright lime green. One, two, three, four, pull that together, pull your lime green through, and then we're back to working some trebles in between. So uh, this time we're working five trebles between block so that's one two three four five and as I get to my fifth one on this row remember to keep all your threads um, towards you this is the back that 
we've got in front of us. And then you begin again working the four trebles to create your popcorn. So that's four trebles going from the back to the front, pull it through one chain, then miss a stitch, I'm going to work into the brown stitch, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in from the back to the front, grab the loop, pull it back through, one chain, then miss a stitch, back into the next bright green one, one, two, three, on to stitch number four, pull your bright green one through, One, two, three, four. Pull that through and you're ready to work your next five trebles. So that's how you look at the back and that's how it looks at the front. Okay, so let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit. Okay, we'll see you at the other end of the row. Okay, so we're almost at the end of this row. Um, I've rejoined here just to show you um, with, once you've done your final change to the final bright green and then completed that last popcorn, don't carry the green any further across. Leave it ready to work some more of your popcorn stitches on the next row. So at this point, we're just working five um, trebles into the final five stitches. Let's see if I've got a little bit tight there. Uh, three, four, and we're on to number five. And at the end of here, we are changing to yarn K. Um, which for me is the lovely sky blue. So just to very briefly go back over that. So you've, you've been carrying your threads um, neatly inside the, the in-between stitches each time. Um, so we've done the final change. We're leaving the green working yarn there because we will need it again very shortly. This lighter green we're now going to finish with and we're doing a pale blue background. So at that point, I'm going to pause there and we'll be back in a moment with the next row. Row 59 has quite a few similarities to row 58. So we're going to start with three chains. As you know, I like to do one with the tail and this three chain counts as your first treble. And we're then going to work a treble into each of the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. So you've got your chain and then four trebles there. Um, and nearly forgot. Oh no, not quite got to the, the end of it yet. So I've got my four trebles. And then we're going to work one treble into the top of the first popcorn. And at this point, we have to remember to change yarns because we're going to do another little bit of the tree. And again, I like to carry my yarns across 
um, hiding them in the um, stitches that you're working. So we're going to be working this um, popcorn into the gap there and I'm just going to wrap in and hide my blue yarn. Um, this is a right side popcorn on this one so do the same as before where we do four trebles number four and then this time because it's going to be a right side one we're going in from the right side through to the back so from front to back grab the loop pull that through and you can see how it pops it to the front rather than the back and then a one chain uh, miss that popcorn and work into the um, the gap again and one two three now on this fourth one we need to remember to change back because we're only doing two popcorns on this side one two three four going in from front to back grab the other loop bring it through and then one treble into your popcorn of the row below So you've got a popcorn, a, a treble at that end into one popcorn and a treble at this end into the other with your other popcorns worked between. Okay. And then we work one treble <coughs> into each of the next five stitches, remembering to wrap your dark green yarn. into the stitch as you go along so you don't end up with any loops, big loops at the back. So there, one, two, three, four, five trebles and then we start again with, um, sorry, no, I need to do another one there, don't I? That was my original one into there, one, two, three, four, five and then a treble into the top of the first popcorn of the row below. So you end up with two, four, six, seven in total between each block. And when working the seventh one, of course, you change back to the yarn for the top of the tree. Okay, I'll leave you to work that across. As I said, the theory is very similar, it's just making sure you work into the right places. Um, but if you make sure you've got seven blue stitches between each set and you've got your two popcorns worked into there and make sure you work in a right side popcorn. Okay, I'll see you again very shortly. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row with all the double front popcorns and you end up with six stitches here because you've got one worked into your final green one of the row below plus your final five trebles um, and again I haven't carried the green dark green yarn across because we're going to need it on the next row to put one more of the wrong side popcorns in so hopefully that is what yours looks like too and we'll see you again in the next row okay so here we are with row 60 which is on a similar theme to row 59 um, so we chain three which does count as a stitch and we do five trebles one into each of the next five stitches so Four, five, 
five, so including your chain of three there, you've got six. Then we work one into the top of the last popcorn, remembering to change to the green yarn on the final pull through of that one and then we're going to work a wrong side popcorn. So again we work four trebles and we're working them into the gap between the two popcorns of the row below. So one, two, three, Four, and as we get to that fourth one we need to change colour and then because it's a wrong side popcorn we go back to the top of the first green stitch and we pull that through and that pulls it together and pops it out to the front um, then we'll work in a treble into the next popcorn not forgetting that we are going to need to carry the yarn across, hidden inside the stitches across here. Um, so we're going to do seven stitches and I'm going to hold this, this darker green towards me at this side so that it stays at the back of the work. Um, I think it just helps it be a bit neater. So I am working um, seven of these. So basically that is one into every blue stitch. So I've got two, four, six, seven. That would be my eighth one because don't forget this is where you can, your counting can go a bit a bit wrong if you're not careful. There's one already been worked into the popcorn there, so I've got one that's worked plus another seven, two, four, six, seven, and the final one into the popcorn of the next set, swapping to green yarn on that final pull through and then we're back to doing four trebles so we're working the next popcorn two three four remembering to change your colour and then through from the back to the front pull that across and then we're working a stitch into the top of that popcorn of the row below. So you've got your popcorn and then two, four, six, eight, nine blue stitches between. Okay, I think that's probably the easiest way to think about it is to work a popcorn with nine stitches between it. Um, all the way to the end, when you get to the end you um, will only have six blue stitches I believe at the other end but we'll confirm that when we when we get there it'll definitely be less um, I think it's six okay all right we'll see you at the other end okay so here we are at the end of the row I haven't carried the extra green across um, where I mentioned six before you've got the one stitch that's worked into that um, final popcorn of the row below plus another six so when you're counting your blue stitches you have actually got seven but only six of them will be in the the final repeat so that's where they just in case you're wondering where the numbers come from on that one um, so that's the end of that row this is how it should now be looking on the front so I think you'll agree they are really cute trees. Um, so yeah, we will stop there for a moment and we'll come back with the next row in a moment. Okay, bye. Okay, so after all those complicated rows, we're going to do a nice simple one. 
So row 61 is a chain of three and then a basic UK treble into every stitch to the end. And when you get to the end of the row, we're going to join in yarn G. But don't cut your yarn because you will need the blue yarn again very shortly. So a nice set of UK trebles all the way along, one in every stitch. When you've finished including the chain of three, you'll have 145 stitches. So do just check that at the end of this row. Okay, we'll see you again in a moment. So here we are at the end of the row. I have just done a quick count as well to make sure and this stitch is number 145 and on the final pull through we're changing to the ecru yarn. Um, as I mentioned before, don't cut yarn K. You will need the blue yarn again shortly. But we'll pause there and we'll see you again in a moment. Okay, so here we are with the next row. So we're now on the lovely cream coloured yarn. And we're going to do a slip stitch into that first stitch and then a treble into the following stitch and then a slip stitch again and another treble. So we have done this style of row before and it puts a nice little kind of bobbled white stitch on the opposite side of the work. So slip stitch followed by a treble. Just do one more to show you the other side. So this is what we're aiming for on the other side. I think it looks rather pretty. Okay, we'll see you at the end of the row for the turn round. So here we are at the end of that row. Um, that is the back and how it will look. And if we turn it over, there you've got how the front will look. And we are fastening this thread off so you can cut this one off to sew in shortly. Um, okay, I'll join you in a moment with the next row. Okay. So, for this row, we are not turning. We have gone back to the beginning um, of the white row and we've still got the wrong side facing us. So, we pick up the first slip stitch that we did and we're bringing the blue yarn back, back into play here. Um, so, we need to bring that through and then chain three. And then we are going to be working one treble into the next stitch and every other stitch to the end. So you will notice, what's the next one there? With this, with the row below, um, you've got sort of a bigger stitch and a smaller stitch and a bigger stitch and then a smaller stitch going along the row and you need to work into every one. So um, don't brush at this row, do it nice and gently because every other stitch will be that little bit tighter and that is the slipped stitch that you did. So you'll have one really easy stitch and one that is that little bit more difficult to get into. But just keep working your way along gently. Um, I've got that one snagged somewhere. There we go. Um, so yeah, just keep working your trebles nice and easily along the row and when you've finished it will help to emphasise that lovely white row um, before. Okay, we'll see you at the other end. So, here we are at the end of the row. As I said before, just a nice row of simple trebles going all the way along. 
and for the final stitch or the final final pull through of the last stitch we're changing colours um, and I'm changing to this lovely chocolate colour. So there we are, ready to start the next row. Okay. Okay, so we're back with the front of the work facing and um, we need to do a one chain which I'm going to do with the tail and then on with the proper working yarn. That one doesn't count as a stitch so we're going into the very first stitch of the row and work in a double crochet so we can pull all this in and tighten it up and sew it in shortly and then we're going to work one oh, sorry two chain <laughs> oh, so I've got one double crochet in that first stitch then two chain miss a stitch and a double crochet into the next stitch two chains miss a stitch double crochet into the next stitch and that is all the way along to the end so that's what we're doing for this row um, we'll be back at the end when we get to the other end of the row and we'll also um, I'll have sewn in some of the ends by that point because as you know I don't like to have them um, lying around I think they get in the way okay see you shortly at the end of the row So here we are at the end of the row and as you can see we finish with a two chain and a um, double crochet into the final stitch. Okay, um, so we'll be back in a moment with the next row. Okay, <clears throat> so we're sticking with the lovely chocolate brown for this row. We've turned the work and we're doing a chain of three. And then we're basically going to be doing a treble into every two chain space and every stitch. So, oops. Um, and that's all the way along. So there we go. So that's what you're aiming for on this one. It does look like it's ballooned a little bit, but don't worry, it will all straighten out as we get further along. Um, so basically a stitch into every two chain space and every stitch to the end, and you'll have 145 when you're finished. Okay, here we are at the end of the row, and for the last pull through on that, it's going to be with the lime green. Um, so that's all completed, 145 stitches, and we're now ready to turn and do the next row. Okay, so a bit more going on in this next row. Um, we are going to start with a chain of three. So we're going to do one with the tail, two with the main working yarn. And then we are working one treble into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then three front front post double trebles around the next stitch. So a double treble is a double wrap and it's bringing this to the front so you're going in behind it. One, and then one treble into each of the next nine stitches so this one and work into the next one um, just with normal stitches so one two Six, 
seven, eight, and nine. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. And then another um, three front, front post double trebles. Again, around the next stitch. And so you are increasing over this row. Um, and then we will obviously decrease on another row. So each time you then obviously miss um, the stitch that it's attached to and work into the next one. So there should be a missed stitch at the back there. Okay, and that's the look you're aiming for at the front. So we'll see you again shortly at the end of the row. So here we are at the end of the row and we are joining with yarn A. Um, the row, if you are looking at the pictures, you can not really see this colour particularly clearly but it's definitely there. So if you're worried that you're joining the wrong colour, you're not. Um, we do move on to the darker okay. green after this. Okay, so we'll see you in a moment with the next row. Getting quite heavy now is the blanket. Um, okay, so we're starting this row with two chain and that counts as a half treble. I'm going to do one with the tail, one with the working yarn and that counts as your first stitch. We're then going to work a front post treble around each of the next six stitches. So that's going in from the right to the left, pushing the stitch up to the front. And oh, I always find this first one really tricky. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we're going to back post treble three together over the next three stitches. So those are the three stitches where you created extra on the row below. So we wrap we go under that first one, so we've sort of turned the work over really to do that. Bring that back through, wrap and through two. We pause a second and we start again. We wrap, we go under the next stitch, bring it back through, wrap and through two, and then again wrap it under that third stitch bring it back through, wrap and through two, and then wrap and through all four. And you'll see how at the front of the work, um, you've pulled that stitch back into just one loop. And then we continue doing front post trebles from this side, the actual proper work inside. And we're doing nine of those. So for every one of these in between stitches, which is nine between each block, we're doing a front post treble around each one. Seems quite a lot when you're working. So many of them repetitively for you. That's my final front post treble and then we start and we're going in from the other side. Okay. And we pause at that point, wrap again, go under the next stitch, bring it back through, wrap it through two, wrap again, under the next stitch, back through two. so and then wrap and through all four so that's what you're creating 
on the right side of the work and that's how it will look on the back. Okay, we're going to carry on and we'll join you again as we get to the end of the row. So here we are at the end of the row and we're going to now join in the dark green yarn that you can see on the photographs and this is how it will look from the back here and then that's from the front and partly with, with how this raised row pulls that's why you can't really see a lot of this paler green one um, on the picture but it is definitely there so we change into the dark green yarn for the next row and we'll see you in a moment with the instructions for that. Okay, so um, for the next row we're with the lovely dark green yarn and we're going to do two chains. I'm doing one with the tail as usual and one with the working yarn and that counts as the first half treble and then we're going to do a front post treble around each stitch. So that's where you go wrap it, go under there, back through, round and through two, round and through two um, and we're going to work all the way across the row doing um, this. I'm just going to show you the what we do when we get to where you've worked the treble three together because that is one stitch and if you don't work it you will have lost quite a lot of stitches by the end of the row. Um, so I'm going to choose to go under all of that and pull them in there and then we carry on at the other side like so. So you can see how I've really gathered all of that in there. So when you go under, make sure you go properly fully under even that bit there. Because it would be quite easy to miss that and I don't think you would get as neat a finish if you do. Okay, we'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, so here we are at the end of the row. So we have done a front post treble around every stitch right up to the final two chain at the end of the previous row. And then we're going to work, oh, we have worked a half treble at that point. Um, so just to, to make sure that you remember to work that half treble, it's very important. Okay, we'll see you in a moment with the next row. Okay, this row, 110. So we do a one chain which doesn't count as a stitch. So we're then working a double crochet into that first stitch. And then we're doing two chains, miss a stitch and work a double crochet into the next. So you've done this style of row a few times before. Two chain, miss a stitch, work into the next. And you just keep going along there, like that, oops, until we get to the other end. Okay, so we will see you shortly at the other end of the work. So here we are right at the end and I just really want to show you that we need to do two chains and the very final double crochet is that final stitch there so you need to go right the way on to the end here. Okay we'll see you again in a moment with the next row. Okay so we're back with the right side facing and we haven't changed colours we're just doing a chain of three that does count as the first stitch so that one is now accounted for and we now need to work one treble, that's a UK treble, into the chain space and then a treble into the double crochet. 
and we're going to do that all the way along so nice easy row and it's stitch for stitch so one treble into the two chain space and one treble into the double crochet so that's how you're going to look for now we'll see you at the end of the row so here we are at the end of this lovely easy row um, just to make sure that you've done your final two stitches one into the two chain space and one into that final one chain okay that's the end of that row we'll see you in a moment with the next one okay super super easy this one chain of three and that counts as your first stitch and then we're working trebles into every treble of the row below don't think we can get much simpler than that so um that's what you're aiming for on this row not forgetting that you need to work into the very final stitch and we will be changing colors at the end of this row so you might just um want to maybe get the other color out ready it's uh, yarn h so we'll see you at the end of the row so here we are at the end of the row working our final treble into the three chain of the row below so that's the back as we are at the moment and this is how your front's going to look right now okay we'll be back shortly with your next row <laughs> 